you children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. To fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Sturdy long ships. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. You're not getting any mead. Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You are just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. Oh, oh, oh. 
So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can we show us to get the can stones to start yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in hall of kings on ocean steed my words gain wings oh then speed our forth will bring the noble deeds that on us sing the brave men slain, Valkyria waits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horns. For those who fight! Not you, Faber. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. No, Baron! No, Aaron! 
Pick up your axe! No! Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> You remember this? Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Ava Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship! Uh. You move... ...and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south! We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? Never leave 
you this. No feast for you, Sunan. My crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. My crew is in danger. I need to reach them. My eyes soon. Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chodve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davalt's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. 
you glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Arvosness. Where that Oathbreaker is holding my crew. Show me what lies ahead. Warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. Longhouse. My crew should be inside. like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut.
You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Won't take long. I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Going to feed the worms. Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Better no! Pick up your axe! 
Kill them all! No! Find us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, thank you, my friend. Kissed, even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start growing. Let the sail on. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Judges men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Take it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Need to row our way out. What do you think you're doing? Can't raise the sail here. now harder and stronger than before no surprise there this war has spun on for three generations i hardly expect him to relent your hatred for that man i could warm my balls on it would you not prefer a pair of seal skin breeches just take care eivor such hatred can make you careless what he did to your father Sail. he did to all of us the wind. you are not in this fight alone Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotbe's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song.
Lock the ship here. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, bro. How do you know? Hello, Eivor. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I tell you, you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid, and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. 
Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. to keep your blade? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Garner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. <laughs> <laughs> 